Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and today we're gonna take a quick trip down memory lane. Y'all may remember one of my first videos that I made which was called the three best diss tracks on the internet and uh, it's my best video by an absolute mile. In terms of numbers anyway, back then I didn't know how to present myself nor edit. I feel like I've come a long way in those nine months. So today I thought I'd give an updated version and do the top five diss tracks on the internet simply based off void. The fact that that video did so well and got 4,000 views makes me wonder how well this one can do. So if you're watching now and you're excited, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, thanks. <laughs> also, I had to bring back the OG cluster truck footage. That's a big W. Oh fuck, that reminds me, let's roll the old intro. <laughs> K-pop stands diss track part two. I know, I know, I know. Please don't dislike the video. Don't dislike the fucking video just yet. Okay, right. Lyrically, factually, in that diss track, that is the best diss track they've ever made. The best fucking, by, by a mile, spitting facts, that is the best diss track they've made. And for those of you wondering, yes, Void is more than one person. Fucking dumbasses. Don't get me wrong, the song was sick. Every single bar was fucking true. Stasio did a sick job at editing it, and the fucking, the feature was fucking cold. But the point of the diss track is to get a reaction out of the person you're making the diss track on. And that, that just didn't happen for this one. I was expecting it to, and I'm sure that every other person involved with it was expecting it to as well but for some reason it just didn't i don't really know why idols they cry i wonder why their lives are not their own their day is hard and filled with sadness till you're dancing on my phone and i know that you'll never know my name but your picture on my wall it reminds me it's not so bad it's not so bad now, in fourth place, we have the prestigious, the holy, the great 2020 diss track. This is a rather unpopular opinion, but I fuck with this one so hard. Trust me, trust me, I hated 2020 as much as anyone else did. And when I saw this dropped, mm, I was fucking gassed. I remember this one so well, because I have quite a funny story that goes for it, right? So for those of you that don't know, I live in the UK, so the time schedules for the premieres of the song are it's a bit fucked. So I was on my train on the way back home, and it just so happens that that day I forgot I forgot my headphones. So the guy behind me, the old bloke, he had to listen to a 2020 this track on the way home. So yeah, that's quite fun. Seriously, I'm not even joking. I fucking I was banging this song for literally weeks. Like as well as a diss track, it, I, that was a good song. You know, you fucking felt that every time I listened to it. I was just bopping my head, man. I, I, that song fucking bangs. It's one of those diss tracks that you feel. You know, you, it feels like you're taking a bullet to the chest. Nice. It, it was hard. Hey. I said fuck 2020 man, we all had enough of it I was getting up in life, now I'm back on my budget shit I was getting up for work, now I can't find a fucking shift I'm squeezing on the sanity, but that shit slipping out my grip We going through hard times, what the fuck's the guidelines? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now getting down to squeaky bomb time The top three diss tracks on the internet by Void And in third place we have the one, the only, well, not the only. Jake Paul diss track part one. Yes, and I'm fully aware that in my top three video, I put this as number one, but my opinion has changed in the last seven months. Jake Paul diss track part one. The one that KSI reacted to and gave Void that boost that they really needed. This song has pretty much double the amount of views as the one that's their second most popular. And for good reason too. I'm 99% sure that Jake Paul saw this one, which makes it even fucking funnier. In their early days, this was the first one that went fucking deep, like deep, deep. They had some serious fucking hatred for this guy. Don't get me wrong, the mini lad one went in, but this one, yeah, this 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 one was hard. I'm ready to sing my heart out. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I haven't heard this one in ages. Hmm. Okay. Let's get it. Cheese bag remix. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> 
Don't talk about new friends, you ain't got no friends Sitting right shit bro, you ain't got a pretense Right out of Ohio, you're dumbass and Logan It's everyday bro, what happened to the slogan? Manager got raided by the motherfucking FBI All the brother got dropped by KSI Pay you mail in debt, but they pay them dudes Can't spell the poor without the L, they lose, yeah It has been a while since I heard that one Anyway lads, on to the second best void diss track This diss track could have easily made first place It was almost like a flip of a coin but nevertheless, the great. Jake Paul diss track part two. This could have easily been number one, let's be real. I cannot believe KSI didn't react to this man. Like, he must have seen it, surely. This this is so fucking good. Bro, I'd say for a solid month, all I was saying around my family or with my friends was, you just turned 20, D, what is your legacy? 20, D, but you used to act like you're nine. Literally, that was the only thing coming out of my mouth. Leg's melody at the start was so fucking catchy, and then it felt like Pat Gold was just spitting facts for hours. A lot of people disagree, and they say that the original part one was actually better than part two, but, you know, we all have our own opinions and I just think you know the production on this one and shit bro it just it just takes levels you just have 20 day what is your legacy 20 deep but you should act like you're not just got a felony you is the enemy Kennedy you gonna jump like a flop and in first place we have the number one the best diss track that Boyd has made in my opinion <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've all got your guesses get the answers locked in because the answer is about to be revealed. K-pop stance diss track part one. <laughs> I have some memories of this fucking song. Do y'all remember when they came to invade the Jay's Back channel? Oh, snap. These motherfuckers tried their hardest, but they did not succeed. Bro, I literally made a fucking, a whole Amigo video on this because it was so funny. I just find it mad. The whole thing's mad. Like, I supported Void since they was at like 5k and it's, they've got a fucking Keemstar feature. It's, it's just, it's just mad, man. The reason why it's at number one is not only because it has a Keemstar feature on it, but it's the reaction, man, from the K-pop stuff. Stands. Oh my fucking god. Bro, this was literally trending on Twitter. It's actually mad how far Void have come. Like, it's crazy. Just to think I was even a slight part of it is fucking insane. And I may only have 600 subs, but I don't give a fuck. It's like, you know, I, I, I was a part of this shit and it's it's crazy to see, you know, the growth. But nevertheless, hold on, let, let, let me fucking sing this shit. Hey! No, no friends, no food, no wife. Gay pop idols, they got no life. I'ma say it once and bitch, I'll say it twice. President. Fuck it pop, 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 yeah, fuck it pop, fuck it pop. Anyway, lads, I hope you've enjoyed this newly updated video for the best diss tracks on the internet because it's been really fun to make. Void, hands down, you guys make the best diss tracks on the internet and you guys have come so far in the last year, so well done to you guys. But if you're one of the guys that have somehow made it to the end, what the fuck are you doing with your lives? But, I mean, you might as well subscribe, boys, to here. But, yeah, hopefully I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya. Hey bitch, why are you looking like you're Mrs. Puff?